I am Chalfant and this is Chalfant TV. Never thought that I would be at a place where I'm diving into music that isn't even in the language that I speak, or at least most of it. I know a lot of their songs now at least have a few English words here or there, but we do know that something that doesn't change within BTS music is the meaning of the songs as well, and that makes it so relatable. In our house, in the Xiaofan household, An Pa Man is number one BTS song that always plays. And now that I've watched the live performance of it, and I have a new one to be able to show our kids too, they always ask to watch it. So I'll put it on the TV. This is the first episode. It's kind of weird being on camera by myself because I don't get someone else to rely on you know, when I bring up something or ask questions, I usually ask a lot of questions. So now I'm left with either asking it and trying to answer it myself or even asking you. So maybe that's what this will turn into. I'll be able to ask a question. And, you know, if you have a better answer than what I might be thinking, you can put those things in the comments. <laughs> What's up everybody? I am Xiaofant. Welcome to Xiaofant TV. Today I'm going to be reacting to the lyrics from An Pan Man and a live performance, a selfie cam version from their performance in New York. If you don't know who I am, I am Xiaofant. I am from Brothers From Another Color and we decided to create our own channels because there was just way too much content that we wanted to get into and because we only got together once a week to be able to shoot there was no way that we would be able to catch up with all of the content, especially BTS's content that is out there. An Pan Man was the very first BTS reaction that we did, and I realized that in our reaction, we actually didn't look at the meaning of the song. That's something that we always do now, and I figured this is where I would start with my own channel, and I'm glad you're here to join us. Go ahead and crush that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm glad you're here, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to pause there. I laughed just because um, some of the comments I've already seen within um, our original channel, Brothers From Another Color, uh, when they say, I don't have biceps or a handsome face, I think ARMY would probably disagree with that uh, for everybody, especially with J-Hope, because we've had people comment uh, about him a lot. And I, I think already uh, this song is, is not from BTS's perspective it's it's for you as the person who's listened to the song to take that perspective and know already that I don't have these things I don't have a supercar like Batman and just to be uh, a superhero for yourself so it's interesting the word romance popped up there and I, I don't think it's romance just from love. It, it's just, um, I, I take that word romance and I think about passion. I think we've all been there. You know, when you're a kid and you're thinking about being a superhero, uh, running around, you know, full speed, as fast as you can, like Superman, I guess, high up in the sky, but that's probably more about uh, walking around with your heads in the clouds. Not that you're not able to see what's going on, but also um, just that your your imagination, you know, is, is, is what keeps you moving and keeps you going. And unfortunately, we know that your imagination starts on level 100 and as you get older, it just drops down. Maybe not for all of us, but I know that once we're adults, you know, the real world kind of hits you hard, so... I 
it's interesting Suga's role he came in and said you know that he doesn't think about being that superhero and he doesn't even know if he can he's like but if I don't do it who will and that is a crazy good message uh, for everybody you know I, I think about being uh, a school leader myself and within schools and within classrooms you know when kids see bullying and things like that you know we ask them to be an upstander and stand up against those things and that's you know, if you're not the one who does it, then who is? It's interesting, <laughs> I've, uh, I've known this song for a little while, at least since October when we first reacted to the song, but I didn't realize the word uh, Bangtan was in there. And I think V's point is, you know, just being there and being present. And, you know, I don't know if I can do it, but uh, I don't know if I have the strength, but I think that I can do it. And that's just such a great message. And it's something that we always question within ourselves, both from like a professional level when you think about I don't know if I can do it, but it's just going out and doing it, taking that risk. So already I can see there's a huge shift in what it means to be a superhero, especially a modern day superhero, somebody without powers and just moving forward and everybody can be a superhero and we all have that pain of the past that's behind us, but that's okay. And I think that that's such a great message for kids. It's a great message for adults, especially right now in this pandemic and stuff that we're living in that you can do it, you know, even without those powers, those are things that you can do. So I want to look at RM's lyrics for a second. It's interesting that he says he's afraid of all of this. Uh, probably because, you know, it's you have so many loves in your life, or at least passions, I think, deep within you. But when you think about r the realization that you can also be a superhero, uh, it, I guess that can be frightening. It's like a, a sense of empowerment that you didn't think that you had. Yeah, and that's true too. You know, I, I think when you do decide to stand up, whether it's to be a hero for somebody else, be a hero for your family, there are going to be those naysayers who just say, you know, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, um, just do what you were doing, and that's interesting that he said it like that. And he said, even with that, even so, I want to be a hero. He said, all I give you is red bean paste bread, and I think I know that um, Anpaman is uh, made of bread, and that's probably why. <laughs>
So JK comes in and he's saying, you know, he's scared too. It sounds like that's a trend so far. It's like, I don't know if I can do it. I'm scared to do it, but you know what? I'm going to be by your side. And again, that's huge message for everybody that's in your lives. It's really important. Jimin. I don't think I knew that I'm, I'm, I'm was full of mud. <laughs> I just pictured J-Hope, that dance that he does at the end of uh, Mama 2018 where he's like, always ready to let loose. Well, I can say I'm not surprised that, that that is the actual meaning of the song. Um, it makes sense. Uh, and just like a lot of the other BTS songs, probably all of them, it's super relatable. Or as JK would say, hella relatable. And I think that's one of the great things about BTS is that so much of their music is relatable to our everyday lives. And while Ampaman is, that's a much bigger part of your life, it's not from day to day, but when those moments do come up and you want to be helpful to somebody else, it's just having that confidence and believing in yourself. And I think that's one of the, one of the many reasons why uh, we love BTS so much, not just myself, but ARMY in general. So now we're going to watch the BTS stage self cam from New York. It also says 2019 Festa. And people have commented you know, on some of our videos to react to the 2020 Festa, and I'm not exactly sure what that means yet. So if you know, you can go ahead and put that in the comments, and I'll be sure to put that on the list. So let's go ahead and watch the live performance from New York. I also got to say, them coming out of the floor is one of my, my four-year-old son's favorite moments from Mama 2018. What's up, V? Live performance of this video always gives me goosebumps too. I haven't seen this one specifically, but their live performance, especially at Mama. Oh, I can hear Army singing in the background too. <laughs> the bounce houses. I think that really speaks to them being young. Young inside, anyway. <laughs> you know, thinking about the bounce houses, that's also, it relates to what they were talking about within this song as well. You know, how you were when you were younger. And probably just the reminder to stay young, stay free, have that courage. You can be somebody's hero. It's awesome. RM just looked too cool. <laughs> I could already see the American army is reacting a little bit different than the Japanese army from the MAMA performance. Woo! RM with the Nike Air Max 97s. I feel like Jimin and JK are the two that ARMY really look at in terms of B 
being the best looking or have the biggest impression on them. And I've heard a lot about Jimin, Jimin's effect anyway on, <laughs> on straight men. And I was called out a little bit for that as well. Look at that. They're just in their element. Just like a bunch of kids getting together. Doing what they love. Worldwide handsome. Jim look like about to fall out. I think that performance alone really, really highlights my need or at least want and desire to see BTS perform live. And I've heard about the Hunger Games expression for the concert itself, but that doesn't really change, you know, the, the fact that I really want to see them perform. But Hopefully when this pandemic dies down, they'll be able to do that. Um, I want to thank you for tuning in uh, to Shalfont TV. This is the first episode. It's kind of weird being on camera by myself because I don't get someone else to rely on, you know, when I bring up something or ask questions. I usually ask a lot of questions. So now I'm left with either asking it and trying to answer it myself or even asking you. So maybe that's what this will turn into. I'll be able to ask a question. And, you know, if you have a better answer than what I might be thinking, you can put those things in the comments. So my goal is to record and shoot and react to as much as possible. I'm probably going to look into a little bit more within K-pop itself. I think it's, it's been interesting, to say the least, to really dive into a rabbit hole from BTS. And never thought that I would be at a place where I'm diving into music that isn't even in the language that I speak, or at least most of it. I know a lot of their songs now at least have a few English words here or there, but we do know that something that doesn't change within BTS music is the meaning of the songs as well, and that makes it so relatable. Even with this live performance, you know, the use of bounce houses and things uh, within there, and that's not even, I think the point of that is not just them to have fun on stage, of course, it, it's not to forget, you know, that, that inner child that, you know, the, the real big piece of being a kid is being fearless at a lot of times. You know, there some kids are really apprehensive, you know, and I get that. And I, I just think about that passion and that drive you have when you're a kid. And, you know, what I think about from an educator standpoint, you go into like a kindergarten or first grade classroom. It's just like when people get older, too. It's like on both en ends of that realm. They're, they're so honest and they just say whatever they're thinking, you know, without any regard to what they might be saying or how it might sound, you know, they're just go-getters. I wish there were a way within our society or at least within schools that we didn't, you know, push that out of them, you know, because that's, that's something that we wish that we could have as, especially teenagers in middle school or high school, but also as adults, you know, those things don't, those things are tough to keep on and those are skills that you need to have too. In our house, in the Chalfant household, Am Pa Man is number one BTS song that always plays and now that I've watched the live performance of it and I have a new one to be able to show our kids too, they always ask to watch it so I'll put it on the TV and my son has even pointed and brought up things about V who in the Mama performance from 2018 has pink hair. And, you know, he's asked questions like, why do people dye their hair? You know, I joke with him. I was like, you know, your mom used to dye her hair too. You know, and I went through a phase when I was in eighth grade. I think everybody dyed their hair blonde at one point. Uh, not just to be like Eminem, but it was the thing to do at that point. If I have a picture, I'll post it, but I don't think I do. So I want to thank you for tuning in to Chalfont TV. This is our first go at this. And hopefully it's sustainable. Hopefully get more comfortable being alone here. It feels weird, but 
you know, there's there's a lot of content to get to and go through. And I know a lot of people do this on their own, so I'm interested in seeing where this goes and, you know, just the things to be able to learn, you know, independently that it can also bring back to our other channel, Brothers from Another Color. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. There's definitely going to be a lot more to come. So consider subscribing, liking, engaging, commenting, you know, all of those things. If you're still watching, consider liking this video, commenting below, you know, engaging, turn on those notifications for sure, because that's going to be really important to be alerted, you know, when new videos are posted. So thanks for joining me on this trip. I'm Chalfant, and this is Chalfant TV. And as Jim says, you nice, keep going.